Hello students. In today's class, we'll be studying up a new chapter that is chapter four, the whale story. So in this lesson, we are going to study about the different uh, kinds of uh, whale we have and a brief history about the whale and, the, and even we'll be learning about the whale hunting. So let's see the, without getting any delay. So let's uh, go through the lesson now. So please follow up me. People and whales have started and people and whales have shared a long history with a relationship that has changed dramatically over time. So as we all know that uh, the people were thinking that the whales usually kill humans. But later on, the discovery and uh, the study which went on, it says about the whale are friendly in nature. So that is what the meaning of this paragraph. It, the relationship between the people and the whales have been changed over the time. So whales have been hunted professionally by whalers for their meat and bulbers. So as we all know that the meat was being hunted for the reason of what? For one is for their meat that is flesh, the other is for bulbar. Bulbar it is nothing but the extraction of oil from the whale's skin. So and then from about a thousand years ago, so this was into practice of thousand years ago, whale oil was very precious and was widely used to light lamps until, until 1860 when kerosene became the primary fuel for the lamps. So this was happened uh, and this was in a, a practice till by the kerosene was introduced so what kind of uh, oil they were using they were using the whale oil so after 1860 we can see that the kerosene was uh, uh, discovered and uh, the people started to use the kerosene for their lamps as there was no electricity during those times and then the scale of whale hunting that went on until then can be guessed from the fact that in the mid 1800s, more than 900 whaling ships were sent out to sea, mainly from American ports, with an average voyage, voyage length of 33 to 3 or 4 years. So by this, we have to understand that during those days, the whale hunting was very popular. For what reason they used to hunt up the whale? One is for meat and the other reason is, that is, bulba. So in the mid of 1800, uh, the fact was that many ships were sent, that is about or more than 900 whaling ships were sent out to the sea, mainly from the American ports, with the average voyage length of three or four years. So they have sent up more than 900 years, uh, 900 uh, whales, whaling ships for hunting whales. As everyone knows, uh, whales are very large creature. As we all know that it is a very large creature. And the sperm whale, sperm whale is also a one of a whale, a form of a, a one of a kind of a whale. Once disco described as Levithans, Levithans. Levithans is an imaginary name given for the sperm whale. As they truly gigantic in size, gigantic it is nothing but which is very extremely large in size. They possess the large teeth among whales and live uh, and live to be more than uh, sixty years old. So their lifespan is more than sixty years, and they had a large and strong teeth, and they can dive deeper than any other animal about three kilometers so they can dive into the sea and water in order to catch their very favorite uh, food that is deep squid so that is one of a very favorite food of the leviathans that is nothing but 
a sperm whale. So uh, here the Leviathans is mentioned as a large and a powerful sea monster which appears as a character in our ancient stories. But Leviathans is a form of sperm whales in reality. So that we have to understand here. Moving on to the next para. The whale can attack ship if threatened and especially if their young ones are seen to be in danger. Only when the whales will be attacking the ships when they feel something threatened especially to their young ones. And in 1820, a giant sperm whale apparently 80 feet long, the average length of 50 feet attacked a whaling ship called the Excess. So the name of the whaling ship called as the Excess, it was attacked by a very gigantic sperm whale that was very apparently, it was 85 feet long and the average length was 50 feet. So this gigantic creature has attacked the whaling ships. What are whaling ships? The ships which will be going into the sea for the reason of hunting the whales. So this is up to the first video and I'll be uh, continuing the lesson in my next video. So please go through the lesson and get revised. Thank you.